All right, y'all, we back. I'm back. I had some technical difficulties, but I'm back. We fishing today. We at Fish Bones. And I'm sending my cousin Nigel in there to get the, the minnows right now. We at Fish Bones right here. The best bait stole on the south coast. This is where I go to get all my baits, my minnows, my hooks, and my burgers. And got some good burgers and fries. They know me. They know my order by heart. But we got a cold front that came in last night. We had ice. Like, it froze a little bit. We had ice and, like, the dog water and stuff. So, um, hopefully them crappy bite in this spot that I'm about to go to. Santee. It's a part of Santee. I can't tell y'all the location because every man know. You don't tell where you catching the fish at. So, but it's loaded with, last week we caught catfish, shell cracker, bass. It's really a lot of stuff in this one particular spot because the water is low right here on Santee Cooper uh, right now. So, it's like a ditch that go down. It's like a deep ditch. I think it's like nine feet, nine foot. And the catfish and bass and everything linger around there. That's like an ambush point for the fish. So we found that out, and we start fishing in that particular spot. And we've been doing pretty good in that spot. I caught some big shell crackers, big catfish, off of red worms. So hopefully we make a good video today. I got my GoPro with me today, and I got my boat. This is uh, a John boat, nothing fancy. The cooler, uh, eight horsepower motor, Nissan. I gotta, I gotta match the truck. Nissan truck with a Nissan boat motor. When have you ever seen that? When have you ever seen that? But after Cuzzo come out the store with these minnows, we gonna hit the water. We gonna plan on doing a catch, clean, and cook. Hopefully everything goes well. But stay tuned. We're going to be back to you when we hit the water. Yep. We have fish guys who want to bless us for the day. Me and Justin out here about to catch these fish. Huh? In the action. All right. We in the swamp today, y'all. Mm -hmm. A little piece of it. Swamp boys. Swamp boys. We done had us a... I had me a little instinct that came to my mind that told me to stop right here. I don't know why, but it got to be for a good cause. Something. Something. Something got to be here. I smell something. Oh, Might no, be shell crackers. I can't talk right now. We about to catch these fish. Huh? Let's get it. All Tell right. Baby, I can't talk right now. I got to catch these fish. New <laughs> yeah. spot. First for spot. Then work it off. So, you know. We had to come to Over Reliable. Over Reliable. Ain't lead us wrong letter yet, ain't it? Not yet. Not the fish guy. So we about to see. All right. So this our little catfish, brim, crappy, bass, everything over here. So I'm about to turn on the GoPro. I didn't turn on the GoPro in the last spot because we were just trying something new. But we had to come to Old Reliable, so here we are. Hey, so it's like McDonald's over here. You can have it your way. Have it your way. <laughs> that Burger King, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some fish. Uh oh. Where that big is? Huh? You seen that, ain't it? Yep. Let that big pool. That was a bass. So that, that was a bass? Catfish. catfish. Cause you got to let go of their mouth, ain't it? It's like a sucker, ain't it? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You laughing. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs>
I think this pink one about to get hit first because now it drifting to the left. Oh, I got him now. Yeah, I got him now. This is. Oh, a nice bass. Yeah, you said it. That's a nice one, too. Come on in here, big boy. First catch of the day. You forgot ice. It'll be all right, I guess. You think it'll be all right? Be oh, we can put water in the cooler. Yeah. Hmm? You ain't you ain't weak, in it? This ain't something that's hurt. <laughs> method is to have some lines spread out from right to left in this little pocket from that tree line on to probably about the barber right there. That's our method that we use today. Make sure you don't pop it. Oh yeah, I see it. It's a nice cat. Hey. There you go. Oh, there you go. Cat. Uh -huh. Slow day to day, but maybe it starts speeding up. Yes, sir. We catching dinner. Let me grab my pliers. in a day. He swallowed it too. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Alright. We got to do that about 25 more times. All right. Hey, I was looking at my thing. And I, I, I ain't see it no more. I was just about to ask you, right? I was just about to ask you. I said, John, hey, my thing went down, man. So when I look at this, I said, <laughs> 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 Get up under that tail. Really, I 
I could have believed this badge. That's what I should have done, but he already scaled now, so. We just gonna eat them like this. Right here. Alright. So you get you a sharp knife. Like that. Cut his head off. Break that bone. Come on, you just a grown man. Huh? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Alright, then. Go from that anus part on up. And I, yeah, I cut a little bit down. Right there. This one actually had eggs in it. So that been no mama. Yeah. That been no mama. Yeah. Get all them guts and stuff out. There you go. We're going to have to rinse him off, but that's the clean, clean bath. Nah. For the catfish, all we're going to do is fillet him. All right, so you want to make a little cut in him. Go all the way down right here. You see that skin? Grab you a pair of pliers. Right. So, grab that skin right there with these pliers. Start pulling down. Just working it. <laughs> While well, I got away from me. There you go. Now you got him. Put that skin in the trash and keep on coming. All the way down. And it should come right off like that. This last piece of tail. Pull that off. Now you get you a sharp knife and you want to fillet them. So come along that back to spine. And go along that bone. Start coming all the way down. Like that, come right here. Start going back up with it. There you go, that's a filet right there. Catfish filet, and we got our bass. So we're gonna rinse these off, take them inside, and then we're gonna start cooking them. All right, so I'm about to filet this bass because it'll be easier to fit into the pan. So, I got seasoned salt, paprika, and ground red pepper. So we're gonna sprinkle some seasoned salt on there. This substitute for actually putting like real salt on there. So we're gonna kind of, you know, flip them over. 
Put that seasoned salt in there real nice. You're gonna start with your ground red pepper. And get that little spicy flavor. There we go, like that. Shake that up real nice. Move that around. You know, we're gonna stir it around. And then, for the paprika, we're gonna shake a little bit of that on there. Stir it around, get it, get it nice and red. You want your meat to look red after you season it. This the bass we're gonna do first. We're gonna season the catfish different, but you want your meat to turn out real nice and red like that. So that's how we're gonna do it. And now we're gonna put these babies in some flour. Rub that thing like that there. And then we're gonna um, then we're gonna put them in some flour and then turn them on the hot grease. Now, this is my first real like catch, clean, and cook. I did mess up. I messed up the fish, but we still can eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got our seasoned fillets. I'm gonna drop them in this fish batter right here. Just like that. Drop them in there, turn around. Matter of fact, I like to do a little shake. Shake them up real nice. That's what you should end up with. Oh, you gotta get some right here, but you end up with that. So now we're gonna go over here to the fryer and drop them babies in there. We got our fryer set on 400 right now, so we're gonna drop them in like that and let them things cook. Right. <laughs> you want your fillets to come out like that, nice and golden. Flip them back over just like that. So now we're about to get prepared for the catfish. I'm gonna put some more seasoned salt on that side. Just... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna throw these babies in the flour. Not the flour, but the, the fish seasoning. The batter. Gonna give them a nice little shake. Right here. Alright. I'm put these in the fryer like this right here. Good filet catfish. That's how they look. And then we're gonna drop them in the grease at 400 degrees. Little nuggets and stuff. I'm gonna drop them in there. There we go. We got the catfish rolling pretty good. Look at that right there. Now fold it up. You smell that one? Yeah, it smells delicious. Aww. I think we smelling that bass right here. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm about to taste it real quick for y'all. Let me show y'all how it, how it came out. Like. <laughs> they good though. Mm. All right, our fillet is nice and golden. We're going to take these out, these little nuggets right here. Put them right there beside the bath. Coming out pretty, pretty good. Big old fillet right here. All right. Now, we're going to see... Which one tastes the best? Bass or catfish? Let's see. So I got me a little plate of tartar sauce. I'm gonna try with these catfish fillets. I'm gonna try this little nugget right here. Mm. 
good. It's hot, though. It's hot, but it's good. <laughs> In my opinion, the catfish came out better than the bass. But that's all I got for y'all today. Until next time.